Hi, welcome to Mama Manila Kitchen. This is Marie. Today I would like to show you how to make skinless longanisa. All right, let's get started. Okay, this is all what you need. Fresh ground chicken, fresh ground pork, parchment paper, credit card, cooking oil, salt, paprika, brown sugar, soy sauce, black pepper, cornstarch, vinegar, water, and minced garlic. Okay, let's mix this together. All you have to do is just combine. I have already the chicken and the pork. I will put brown sugar, black pepper, paprika, soy sauce, salt, vinegar, oil, minced garlic. Mix all together. Make sure it is well combined. When it's well combined, I mix the cornstarch with the water. Okay, and then just pour in the mixture. And mix it again. When it's well combined, cover it and refrigerate for 30 minutes. Okay, it's 30 minutes over for refrigeration and I have here the ice cooper and the parchment paper. What I have to do is just to put this in the parchment paper. And then for the first one here, I just want to show you how you form your longanisa. Using this credit card, you can use any card. You just have to hold on the end and just push it to form your longanisa. And repeat this until you have all the meat form. Okay, I am almost done forming the longanisa. And this recipe makes 36 longanisa. If you are trying to make a homemade longanisa and you want to sell it this is the right thing you have to do that's why we're using the parchment paper so that it won't stick together when you pack them and you can freeze them too for at least three weeks in the freezer or more and this longanisa is good 
for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. Okay. Okay, I have on my last longanisa. And then I would like to put the part of it in the freezer. Just like this. This is the purpose of this parchment paper. So that they won't stick together. Okay, and then I will show you how to cook the longanisa. Okay, I have here a preheated pan to fry the longanisa. Just put right amount of oil, maybe one teaspoon or one tablespoon. And then as you can see it's easy to take it out from the parchment paper Make sure when you cook this one, you have to fry it first. Both side brown. Okay, when it's already a little bit brown, the inside is not yet cooked. What you have to do is you add water. And let it cook for as long as you it. for another five to 10 minutes. Okay guys, as you can see, the water is gone. So we continue frying it. For another minute or two. Just a little add oil.
Okay. Longanisa is ready. Okay, this is my finished longanisa. I have here just the rice, fried rice, garlic fried rice actually. Just simple, just garlic fried rice with longanisa. And I have here vinegar, black pepper, and this chili pepper to dip my longanisa. Okay. Okay guys, I will try now my longanisa. Okay. I dig in. Oh my god. This is really good. You guys have to try this recipe. Simple, really simple. Now I'm dipping it with my vinegar. Mm. Thank you so much for watching Mama Manila Kitchen. Merci beaucoup. Thank you soon. Muchas gracias. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thumbs up. Okay. Bye. Au revoir. Au revoir. Adios. Oh, sige. I'll see you next time.